Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our talk show. Not even. Our number one talk up, show. Up on here. <laughs> like, oh, there we are. Oh, shh. The number one talk show in this room. Uh, oh, now this is doing it. God damn it. It's everywhere. I, I, I can do this. I can do this. Welcome back, guys. I'm DJ. Over there is... Why are you still making noise? Over there is Josh. <coughs> Uh, we are a little bit late today, but that's okay. Sometimes I feel like we do it early in the morning. I you know? We used to do it early. And people are just like not awake and ready to be on the internet going around or they're at work or stuff like that. And We're they're on still, the radio. <laughs> they're still at work now. It's just like halfway through the day. Um, Probably on lunch. Probably on, well, yeah, most a lot of people will be on lunch and this, that, and the third. I had a doctor's appointment. Yeah. <laughs> I always felt like we should move Tuesday to Wednesday night's time, right? Like between four and six, because there's a lot of people. We get at five because everyone's heading home, listening to podcasts and listening to YouTube and stuff like that. Well, between two and four right now. You know. See how the days go and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, But on, on top of that. We do have audio versions on Anchor FM, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts, and wherever you get your podcast needs. And it is the month of December. Yes, which means our charity for this month. We're about 15 days in. Right, is Toys for Tots. So, yeah, so right now is like big time for doing your shopping, which is yeah, really, I mean, really sucks for Tampa, too, because a lot of people do the flea market thing to, you know. Pay for their Christmas. Right, like, because... I didn't even realize when it shut down it was December, and I'm thinking like, because it hits you all at once. Because I had a call to confirm, because some vendor told me. So then I'm like, "Fuck!" <laughs> I know, I know the company. It doesn't give certain, you know, packages for working there or service packages because it's the state of Florida. Right, but that's like, well, it's you the know, state of Florida. Right, you don't right. have to. Well, but, but even... then I'm like, "Fuck!" You know, Christmas isn't. Too... It's nice now they're gonna have Christmas off because our comp, the company. Works during Christmas without holiday pay or anything because we live in the state of Florida. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of people will rely on that. What that you know? No, you're not. The, the flea market's only thing open on Christmas. So when you get money from your grandma, you're like, "Oh, let's go shopping." And right. I got I got that 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 ten dollars yeah. and a pair of socks from Granny. Back in the day, it was like Blockbuster gift card. You want to go to Blockbuster and get a game. You know, but now I can't go nowhere and spend that shit because <laughs> in Tampa it's closed. You know, that technically is news. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Tampa closing. It's in the news. Oh yeah. <laughs> but we were again. We were trying to talk about toys for tots. You know. But yes, toys for tots this month. You can go to your. I think Macy's uh, in the mall, uh, so a lot of, churches. A lot of times, you like your malls and stuff like that. I think it's sponsored by the Navy. Have um, they is, leave? Is it the Navy? Th- they leave, you know, basically a giant box with some wrapping paper around it, and you can, th- as you go shopping for your kids or for your friends or family, you pick up like extra gifts. Right, grab something for a kid between by the, the way, ages of one and fourteen. IPads. <laughs> no, for the love of God. Or Nintendo sixty fours. But you know that's not always true either. Like they they do occasionally get gifts like that, and I know but it's not you fair know. to the other kids too because well, no, I mean unless you're like David Dobrik and donated donated to the Boys and Girls Club, right? Ten thousand iPads. I mean, <laughs> like, I mean the thing is, is you know they still find homes for it. You know, like well, right now, there's probably a kid out there who needs it. Computers would be ideal know. because of schooling now, right? You know. Well, and a lot of schools are moving into that. Like, it's a lot easier for a teacher to go grab your iPod, right, and send out the little air link yeah. to 40 kids or 30 kids or 25 kids or whatever. The lesson plan. Right, and not have to waste all the paper. That's true, the paperless. And then the kid does it and just... Bam, sends it right back to the teacher. Oh, that's the great thing about Apple. Everything's connected. You know. Well, I mean, it's also that's... bad about Apple because if you're on the cloud, if we do, <laughs> right, there's some bad picks on there. Like I said, the 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 whole thing is is technology is going in that direction, right? Where it can save a lot of things. I know, and it hurts a lot of things. You know, I got my um, 
medical health insurance card just like that through a text message. Just like, here you go. Yeah, you were worried about it. I'm like, Josh, you can just go online and grab that. You don't even. And it was like, boom. Well, you know, back in the day, you got to wait for the mail. And then, uh, yeah, you uh, that now. now it's just like, hey, you want, send a, you yeah. want a physical or a picture? Well, all technically, all you need is information, so send the right. picture. Well, so that's like a lot of times, like if I don't have something, right, I'll just text the wife, hey, can you send me a copy of this? She does it all the time, right? She'll have documents here that she needs like the, now the iphone you can scan it right and i can just walk up and bloop take picture front and back send it to her she can open it read it show whoever she insurance needs to cards. show so you can have it on your phone right insurance cards well we take pictures of all that so we have backups. Well, no, they also send it to you like i could send me yeah. a, a digital insurance card right well and that's like a lot of people just take pictures of their ids and stuff so when they go to clubs they can be like see instead of losing their id because the the they're ID going out phone anyway right well you know, technology is good in a certain sense and bad in others. You know, it's always a security risk. But it's always been that way since identity fraud has ever happened. Right now, it's just they try to make it easier. Because yeah. the digital only, age, it's it is technically it's easier. only a security risk for them motherfuckers who's got money. But it is harder to fake an ID now. Because you know, you see those shows back in the day when they put the letters together and you take the photo you know like right. the spy movies and here's your passport because so everything is digital unless you have a top grade hacker well it's just you're it's, not gonna fake anything you know it, it's just like money right they they as they go they upgrade it oh yeah the money yeah you know to to make it look real or whatnot stuff like that you know but a, a fake id again is situational okay if you got a person who's really just scanning real quick because he's letting people into the club and make sure you're 21 you're good right you're normally fine but they're fucking slicing your id somewhere else as long as right you know so it, it's really it's again it's everything situational we talk about this all the time especially because we play play a lot of apex and it's all situational you know we have times where we do great but that's because we're in the perfect conditions or we're in the, we're in the zone you know we, we Sometimes we go through a building like SWAT team. Two in one door, we flank the other side, and fucking kill the guy. Yeah. Other times, we're shooting the, the roof. <laughs> Sometimes we're shooting the roof. <laughs> just sheesh. again, it's all it's all just situational. And communication, right? And communication. Well, and pretty much knowing I'm gonna do what needs to be done. Like I said, sometimes you're like, "All right, enter building now." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, whoever they're shooting at, the other person's going to get them because you're not pointing that way. Right. <laughs> Our today's random fact comes from Nintendo. Did you know Nintendo trademark, trademarked the phrase, it's on like Donkey Kong in 2010? I'm sure. Uh, also, the unfortunately, the uh, creator of the NES and the Super NES, you know, the little square games. Yes. Jet blow and put in. Yeah, yeah, I grew up on it. Right. Uh, he passed away at 75 on December 6th. Did he? Yeah, he wow. unfortunately is one of the greatest the minds. The only one I know that runs the company is the one that made the Game Boy. You know. The janitor. That's right, he was a janitor. Well, it's like, you you, you know, you, you always have to think it's like. And he can't ride his bike to work because it's too much of a risk. Especially at like that time, how hard it was to, it was like, I'm going to make a game system. You know, because Sega was making airplane parts. Right. You know that? Sega made airplane parts before they made arcade parts. Well, now Nintendo owns Sega. Owns some of the rights. PlayStation does too. It's right. a third party company. But. So you can use the characters. Nintendo. It's a third party company in the sense you know, the that it gets to, to. Some of the characters. Right. But Nintendo physically owns Sega. That's just how they work with those other. Is through Sega so they can keep Nintendo separate. <laughs> Which Sega Dreamcast was right. the first one to have online access. It's 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 like with Sony and Spider Man. Sony owns Spider Man, but they're but they're, Disney owns the rights to the TV show. <coughs> but they realize that Disney's got infinitely more money than them. Yeah, we won't find it at Disney Plus. And they're a partnership, right? Same thing with Universal with the Hulk, right? But Disney does own the rights to the Fox owned Spider Man, which is the TV show. And X-Men. And now you know. 
Which uh, there'll never be another Spider-Man TV show ever again. Yeah, Cineworks. And they're bringing back uh, the trash. X-Men series from the 90s. Same kind of art. Right, All uh, garbage. So I was going to say, you know, let's talk about the news. But you had a doctor's appointment and had a whole weekend. Didn't I was sick all weekend. Didn't do the news. So so what? I do got news. Oh, you do, you do have news. Oh, yeah. You, you taught me that. <laughs> Facebook gives you news. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just on the news on the Facebook page. It just it just didn't give me any news. Still? Yeah, my, something's wrong with my my phone. It's just broken. Won't give. I'm me on any, the line. Won't give me. Like any. your first news, uh, Eminem's daughter is engaged. Uh, ch- 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 oh damn! What's Elena her name? Scott. Elena. Damn. She's engaged to a boyfriend named Matt Muller. You know, it's it's crazy how to think like like. For a long time there, Eminem was in the news all the time. But it's not Haley, it's his other daughter. Right, but what I'm saying is, right, for a long time there, Eminem was in the news. Oh, yeah. You know, that that, that whole crew was really in the news, Eminem. Well, a lot since he started, because he had the whole thing with his ex-wife. Right. Then he was on drugs. Well, it was just the things he he wrote about and the way he said things. and he, you know, controversial. You know, fights he got into in his younger age and stuff like that. But it's like now as Eminem gets older, you really don't hear about Eminem and Dre that much as as far as, like, controversy goes. He made the joke of uh, some uh, you know. reporters like, how is your and Dr. Dre's relationship? You got fucking beef. No, I'm just kidding. I love the guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, I mean, because as you get older, you know. The, rap changes. Yeah, your, A, your, your rap changes, your style. Your changes. You learn better ways to make money. Like realistically, they sit Play back and pro- right. They sit back and produce more than than anything. But he's still a goat, you know. But well, he dropped an album two months ago. Dropped a new album, and he still is working. It's not like he's not well, working. It's his passion. He he's just... still one of the greatest. Was it lyrical? Right. Because he's like, I don't rhyme orange. I bend it. Right. Well, and he, he and he don't do it. shows, right? Like, you don't go to an Eminem concert. That's not a thing you do. Well, not since because of COVID. Well, even before that, he no, wasn't he really concert. not as much. Not tour, but he did in Detroit and L.A. Um, he did the uh, the Grammys. He one would year go before. and do things. He did the Grammys one year, but he he wasn't. Oh, he's home. like yeah, he wasn't like I'm out Just, fucking like when he won like he won like six a, months out of the year. He won seventy eight shows. He won a summer award. He wasn't there. He was at home with Haley. Watch, yeah, watching a movie. I'm... And there's another one. Like it was set up. It was like the Grammys or anything. He's like, I don't mind losing against Kanye West or something else, but you put some bullshit artists up there because of pop. I'm not coming though. Don't ask me to come. Well, you got to think a lot of a lot of these young artists are just being crazy. Well, they won't go after him. Right. They no, no one's gonna go after him. Uh, well, no, artists. I'm not talking about like that way because you you don't. Eminem made Machine Gun Kelly change his fucking genre of music. You, like, <laughs> you, you you don't do that, but it's like it's like the one uh, the one girl who was peeing in, in people's oh, fucking yeah. mouths that was on like stage. That two weeks ago. Uh, another one. Marilyn Manson's bunch, facing bad charges. A bunch of people got trampled at his concert. They were trying to stop Travis the concert. Barker, Tra- uh, Travis Bark something? Something. I don't know. The one that had the one in Fortnite. You know. Anyway, he's one of the first people at a Fortnite concert. But it's just it's just like crazy to think like. Yeah, they showed you know. his concert and other people's concerts in the past. Like they stopped the show. Immediately. Like the, like the thing. He's like, hold on, hold on. Why are you touching her? <laughs> they yeah. stopped the entire show. Everyone make room for an ambulance. Now. Now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, well, a lot of them are just like, no, because they, they want... One was with a girl backstage. Like, she collapsed in front of him, like, on the first row, and he jumped down with security, brought her backstage with the ambulance, and then the ambulance came backstage, and she was dehydrated, and he stayed with her. Right. Until And then he came back on stage when she they took her off. Well, some of them realized, hey, these are your fans. You know, like, your fans are what's paying your bills. Yeah. You know, they're the one buying buying your CDs or buying your, your tickets, tickets to go to your your show. Enjoying your music, you know, right? Enjoy your music. So you know, you got to look out for them, right? It's it's like when I worked at the nightclubs, right? I wasn't so much roughing people up. I had to kick out because they were going to come back, yeah, right? Like, like I was going to see them the next week or the next day, or <laughs> you know, remember me, right? Whatever. So I'd try to take you out in a nice way. I'll uh, see you 
And that's right, because I have to see you again. <laughs> your customer. You know, right. Especially you're getting, when you're getting too rowdy. Especially, especially when you're a bouncer, bouncer in a, a place for a long time, you have to remember that these are your patrons. These are people who are coming in to pay to drink, have fun. They employ you. Right. Basically. Right. So if you're beating them up left and right, they don't want to come to your establishment because they're getting beat up. I had one too many. I got you beat know? up. <laughs> that's right. You know, so. And that's that was always the biggest problem because a lot of your your younger bouncers and stuff they just wanted to fight, you know, like that's what they wanted to do was fight you. And it's like, well, you know, you really have to have some level of restraint because, like I said, you see him again. Well, you know, you're gonna win. I know I'm gonna win. That's what I'm saying. Like, right? But like, that's not that's not like, sir, just stop. All that's not all. You know, bouncers, and they don't know if they're gonna win, but they want to try. Well, I'm sure when you push the guy out the locked door, <laughs> that was in my younger days when I didn't have as much experience. Can you please stop? As as <laughs> you know, I do. But it was a little push. Did now? Next well, thing you know, DJ's waiting to the locksmith at six a.m. to come. Oh, I didn't wait. <laughs> that would take. And it was like it was the metal doors where it locked in the three places: one up top, one in bottom, and the he one went out with such ease. So it, again, it wasn't. There was a lot going on. I pushed him towards the door, and stopped. Right, expect like you're yeah. you're here now. You're not going back that way, so you might as well go that way, right? And if I take you out, the police are going to grab you. Where if you just walk out yourself, you'd be fine. You'd be fine. Right, they just think you're leaving. I mean, yeah, you came out a little bit. Yeah, because they have Palm Springs detail there, didn't they? Sometimes. Uh, no, it was. I think it was Sheriff's County because it was a strike zone on military and. Oh, that one. High Palexo. I'm thinking of the Spanish one. Right. No, that's El Torito. Yeah, Palm Springs goes there. Uh, right. Palm Springs goes goes. Sheriff's County sits over there too. Another detail officers. You know. Same thing with the district club. But um. I pushed him towards the door, and he bounced off the door and came back, so I put him out the door. <laughs> I didn't realize the door was locked. That's why he couldn't go out. That's why he couldn't go out, or else I'd unlocked it and <laughs> let him out. It was a you misunderstanding. Know? It, it was a big misunderstanding. Unfortunately, it was a valuable lesson he learned. And so did the bowling alley. Right, and so did the bowling alley. Make sure the doors are open. <laughs> when teaching. <laughs> I'm not going to really pay it. Like I said, originally what they did was put me on the door. Right, like yeah, on, on, on one of the door, far because everyone would party in the middle of the bowling yeah. alley, and then nobody would go to the ends. Right, so I was just sitting at the end of an alley. Bob hour. gets to go over there. I did it to Bob too, but that one fight broke out. And they learned not to put you on the door. No, I came off the door. I was like, "This is bullshit. I'm not. Oh, I'm I'm not here to watch a goddamn door. I'm here to work. You want to? You want somebody to watch the door? Get one of the little guys to do it." TJ came and just yoked the guy up and walked yeah. out. Okay, you're not on the door no more. I just grabbed him like a suitcase and <laughs> put him up under my... Come on now, little buddy. Let's He's kicking. Yeah, right. <laughs> you want to see a grown man kick like a baby? Mm. <laughs> TJ has. His twin used to do that to me. He was about three times my size. And he could, you know, like I could jump up into his arms like I was a child and he'd hold me. You? Yeah, me. Right. That's a big guy. Six foot seven, I think at the time of almost about four hundred pounds, about three eighty oh, something. Seven. Yeah, about three eighty or something. And I used to be able to just jump in twins arms. He just fucking huge. You're huge. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He's a so lot of So no bigger. one fuck with that guy. No, no see he, <laughs> the worst part is he'd sit behind the bar and bartend. He's basically allowed to do whatever he wanted. Who's gonna tell him not to? Yeah, you know, well I, I mean that's true. If you have that big mentality, what does he have? Oh, the twin used to carry and everything. His big ass didn't need a gun, but well, he, he walked. Like he know. didn't. He would just moved. Yeah, he just get the fuck out of his way. Crossing, I was like, crossing the street. I love that dude. Is one of my. I was always fucking with him. I was like, I will beat your big ass. <laughs> He'd just laugh at me. Yeah. <laughs> Bring a lunch. Yeah, was, he was. Ama- he was amazing. That was the funniest. He just came up to Tom, got out of the car. You're like, it's time. I'm gonna beat your ass, Tom. I remember. Tom just sat there and looked at you and goes, "Did you bring a lunch?" I remember one time I fucking. <laughs> They were starting to get on this kick where you couldn't smoke in the in the bowling alley, right? All of a sudden, even though they had left, let people do it, right? And well, that's then they were just someone was letting blunts, right? And, they, they, and then they just got mad about it. So 
we were trying to tell, hey, people, you can't smoke in here no more. But people were smoking anyways. In the back. I fucking told this dude, walked away literally before I got away. I heard the lighter light. And I'm like, oh. So I turned around. I was like, yo, don't smoke in here. <coughs> dude was a little taller than me. Probably about my width, you know. And kind of did that thing. Is like, well, I'm bigger than you. Yeah. You know, which you know, you, you, you know doesn't happen to me <laughs> often. Right, like there's not very many people that are just blatantly bigger, you know. Usually, I, I, usually I mean, there are people. I've seen a lot of people taller, but they're oh, normally no, skinnier. Seen, there's a tall guy at our know. job that does the security for Los Arenas. so he's like he's taller than me. I think he's like six. No, he's probably your height, but he's thin. He's all legs, right. small torso. Like <laughs> you, you're all torso, small legs. Right. And fucking hook up. Yeah, I just, it, it it drove me nuts, right? And I was like, I will beat your ass. <laughs> and that's when Twin walked up and I felt like a big meat claw just touch my shoulder. He's like, D, it's okay. I, I've got this. But I was already, <laughs> I was already in fight mode, you know? No, no, he's talking. Like, I was ready to go. Well, Tim had to walk up. Like, it took a couple of them, but I, I, was, but someone, I was in the but mood. But someone just to just you know? manhandle you. Yeah, just pulled me back like that. And like, Cause you have manhandled me, and I felt helpless. Like, so, so for someone to manhandle you. That's how a lot of people felt, you know. But again, oh, no, for every seriously helpless. For every badass out there, there's a bigger and better badass. That's just how it works. Bitcoin's a scam. Justice for juicy. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Bitcoin's a scam's back. Justice for juicy. Juicy. Sure. Well, our next news: an Arkansas waitress served a party that tipped. Four thousand four hundred dollars, and it led to her getting fired. Yeah, yeah. So I I read about this the other day. Uh, the I guess they served like a big party, right? It wasn't it wasn't just like two dudes at a table, you know. It it was a big party, and they tipped thirty diners. Right. It was, and it was basically That's a lot. It was basically two two waitresses and a busboy that was taking care of them. So he left them. A bunch of money. It was said, between her and two other servers. Who right. Were, yeah. Well, when they left, the manager or whatever said, well, you have to give us your tips and we'll cash everybody out. You know. So what? Right. Or when they were on the way out or whatnot, it, it became a problem. And then I guess the 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 main guy with the main account or whatever is like, well, no, that's... We said it's for these people, not for you. We've already paid our bill to you. Yeah. You know, like, like, you didn't do anything. We're not out here. Why are you getting this money? We're trying to help somebody out for Christmas. And then, of course, you're trying to butt in and be a dick. You it's, know. It says, after getting the tip, uh, Brandit, whatever, Brandit. Said her manager told her that she and the other servers who worked the party couldn't keep all of it. Right. Instead, they would be splitting them on the bartender, cooks, and food runners. Sometimes, something that's never happened before. Normally, 7% of service food and beverage sales are often at oven and ta uh, taps are automatically deducted from their paychecks. Right. While tips are left untouched. <laughs> Wow, that's some shady shit. Yeah, she walked away with two twenty two hundred according to the restaurant. So the facts that she was fired. The facts are life far, right? Here, I'll tell you, you two go fuck yourself. Here in America, we've adopted this crazy thing, right? Where where it is we tip people to feed us. Right, we tip people because the food We're doing industry their jobs. doesn't pay their servers the way they should. And that's how they get away with it. Right, they're not paid with normal wages and stuff like that most food servers live off the tips that they are given no technically right? you're supposed to also pay taxes on those too right that's part but, of that's part of the i-9 and 9 form or some shit right so which I'm sure is if you look at a high-end place in new york and you're getting tipped over three thousand dollars a night or three hundred dollars a night which again right is insane <laughs> because most other countries and stuff like that don't do that yeah why are you gonna tip someone to do their job you know it right but their servers and, and stuff are paid normal wages the server gets paid a minimum wage just like everybody the fuck else to do their job 
and that's it. Like, you don't have to... Did you see that Gordon Ramsay, Ramsay episode when they did that shit? When he was doing the, the Save the Restaurant show? Mm-hmm. And there was this one lady and her husband had a small diner. Mm-hmm. And they would take the tips. And then customers didn't know that. So Gordon's sitting there. Lady serves the place. It gives it a tip. Goes up to the counter to cash out. The guy takes her tip. And he's like, what are you doing? The guy's like, what? He's like, that wasn't free. Gordon's like, that's not for you. It's for the waitress. He goes, no, no. All tips go to management. The owners. Because we own it. Well, they, but then they pay their servers Nothing. normal wages. Yeah. Nothing. No. What do you mean? They, they still pay them under minimum wage. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, that Gordon is, went off. Oh. I'm sure. And he's like, he tells the customer, he's like, do you know that tip went to the management? What? Why? Yeah, they didn't go to her. She goes, but they, that's not for them. It's for her. Oh, and the guy's like, get out of my fucking restaurant. Da, 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 da. He started flipping out on Gordon. Oh, I'd love to see that. Yeah, it's on, it's on Netflix, I think. When he did the whole save the restaurant thing or whatever it was, like Hotel, um, oh, hotel Hell or some shit like, like that. The only reason I can see that, right, is if you're paying your waitresses and, and your staff regular wages, you know. You're paying your best wages fifteen sixteen your 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 waitresses fifteen sixteen dollars an but hour. Then all the tips should do what they did and it goes to everyone in the house. Right, that's fine at you that know. point. Well, I, I don't know at at fifteen sixteen bucks an hour as if a waitress. You get a tip. You know. if everyone got a tip. All the waitresses right got a tip, even though they make over minimum wage. Should do what they go to everyone in the house. The cooks, I mean, the servers. That's, that's you know that's not bad. That'd be fair. Because then I guess you can collect all the tips throughout the month. Yeah. And at the end of the month, you like break it up yeah. and you give everybody, you know, a little because bit you bonus. you got the tip for serving, but the cook cooked it. Yeah. The busboy cleaned it. So what's it called? Guy kept the bathroom clean. Well, and then, you know, cooks normally make pretty good money, too. Like the head chefs no, and stuff they, normally they, do well, yeah, no, they make 15 to $20 starting out, you know. If you're in a restaurant where everyone makes close to the same wages. Right. And then... People got tips. Yeah, you should like wait till the month's over. The whole thing is, is like, like even in other countries, they they say is like our, our waitresses and stuff are more happy because they've got a regular fucking job. They're <sighs> in the food industry serving like they want they to. They have health insurance, you know, but they're making a livable wage, you know, because just like that too is like nobody ever thinks any wage is actually li- like how am I supposed to live off this? It's like well. Live to your means. Actually, the, the perfect way to explain America's economy is watch End Time. I don't make no money all year. I figure it out. Like, have you watched the movie End Time with Justin Timberlake? Like, the minutes on your hand is how you live? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, I haven't watched it, but it I've seen bits and pieces. It explains how our economy is. Because he only lives one day at a time. He makes just enough to live one day at a time. Gotta but, have, gotta but have. The rich have, like, 10 years. Right, right. Da, 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 da. And you pay for a cup of coffee with seconds. Like, how do you spend your time? Right. I do. Perfect that one dude had it. millions of millions yeah, he, of hours. Yeah, he's immortal. So right. You gave it to him. So the whole thing was that his crime wasn't stealing time. He was giving it away. Because the more he gave it to the poor, the higher the taxes went up in that section. Because that's how the economy works. The economy works by taxes, minimum wage, and right. how to live. Minimum wage means the minimal amount for you to live off of. But does it mean to pay rent? It doesn't mean rent electric. No, it doesn't mean all that. You it know. means the mil- most minimum that you can live off of. Yeah. Meaning that if you found an efficiency and you collect food stamps and like that, like that's why here got uh, up to 15. Every year, the state of Florida gives people a dollar raise up until 2020 something. Right. But then the milk's going to go up to seventeen dollars, and the gas is going to go up to this. So. Right, right. Well, because like the they've of, got more money, so they can charge more. Like the whole theory, if you had forty billion dollars, that's right. a lot, and you collected two thousand twenty-one census of everyone who paid taxes that year, which is you know seven. What do we have in America? Over seven million people, or more than that. Like give that. or give or take. You give all household families or everyone who paid their taxes that year one million dollars. Right. You can afford it fucking get shot you would fuck up the economy here everybody have, have some money yeah if they just open their account and they know. fucking see that they have like a census check 
that says $10 million. Would that stimulate the economy? No, gas would be $100 a fucking gallon. Well, it is $6, $7 in some places right now because of... But, I mean, that's everyone in America. So but it's everyone also, who paid taxes that year got a million dollars. It's also a combination of things, right? So, like, you have... You have that, right? Because, like, we got stimulus checks and stuff that put more money out into circulation and things of that nature. But if you got a million dollars in this check. Right? You have the trade route that was blocked up for almost a month because Still of is. that shit. No, they, they got Did that. They clear sh- one? Yeah, they got that shit back. It's, it's busy. But toys weren't getting through here. The traffic is high and stuff like that. They were stuck. Because your customs, yeah, you know, right. They were sitting there two or three weeks piling up. No one can get their drugs. No one can get this. <laughs> so you have people that. who order from China. Right? You've got the pandemic, which is got still going on, guys. You've got a lot of people who are constantly worried about it. You have a lot of people who don't give a fuck. So the mask, right? mask industry went up fucking tenfold. So you have <laughs> to you have to think everything's working in tangent to make it more difficult but america does have a real bad economy there's no way to just say oh okay well we're done doing that right mine's me and george we should just shut down again george we can't afford that yeah we can no you can't george we learned that the first fucking time you can't afford to shut down like america cannot afford not like sweden we're like here's six months here's two thousand dollars a month stay inside no, we're not fucking Sweden. We don't have a plan to shut down. We don't have money to shut down. I mean, they spent $2 trillion. On roads. You know, so. But he's like, he's doesn't think it through. No, no, they can't. No, they. It took two years to get two, three stimulus checks, George. <laughs> well, that's because there wasn't. Are you going to live off that? Certain countries didn't look at it as, as an argument. They also saw it. As right. A, Country size of Texas versus America. Right. Well, and, and I mean, again, to certain certain places, it wasn't an argument. It wasn't a discussion. Oh no, you're shut down. Some of these China. some of these countries have kings. Oh yeah. You know, have emperors. Okay, England, for as big as it is, still has a queen who is in charge. She's not done. Okay, and that yes, they have parliament and stuff like that. Ireland was shut down for two and a half years. But the difference between like parliament and the queen. And U.S. and the president is if the queen goes, get the fuck in the house. That's it. You're getting in the house, right? That's what you're doing. What well, you ready? You're gonna wear a mask. That's right. I have rights. Uh, we will shoot you. No, no. If you don't wear a mask, <laughs> I was to say. So look at my face. Her great great grandmother definitely beheaded a lot of motherfuckers for not <laughs> for less. Right. That's right. <laughs> you know that guy can't smile. <laughs> <laughs> Points to the card. So you're gonna wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know he can't because I need to know if he's not smiling. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying, like certain places like that, they have. Yeah, yeah. Try to enter the Colosseum, or the where the Rome did the gladiator the fight Coliseum. when it's cl- when it's closed. Go ahead. Oh yeah, no, try. You, just, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like I have rights. <laughs> yeah, try. Yeah. <laughs> the queen has a military. Right, Private right. military at that. Just, just and guards. You know, and guards. Right, just for her. Not including her nation's military and stuff of that nature. When you're so bad that the last president to enter there was Obama, (laughs) which was welcomed by the Queen of England. Right, right. (laughs) Think about it like that. Welcomed. Right. At no point was like Like the president like, like, you know, I'm going to go to Europe today. It's like, well, we got to check. If you're allowed to go to Europe. It's like, what do you mean we got to check? It's like, well, you know. I mean, you can go to North Korea. Somebody's got to call the queen's people. <laughs> and somebody's got to ask the queen, you know, if that's okay. Oh, but parliament is like, no, <laughs> that's great, right? They can say, but then you if can, the queen's can, not happy about you it, can, you're going to know. You can visit the embassy. You know, that's right. <laughs> you're not going to pass the embassy. That, that's, you, that's U.S. land. <laughs> you can look out the window. You know, <laughs> that's a, not too, not, don't go on the balcony. So a lot of these, a lot of these countries, when they said, "Yo, wear a mask," like there was, there was officers physically beating people in the street with rulers, shoes. Like if you weren't wearing your mask, I watched one, uh, one officer literally took his belt off, right, and whoop this dude's ass like he was a child. Well, he, well, he wasn't listening, right? Like, like a child, like, like. And it's just so crazy to think like like so people people get all upset 
over like could you imagine right you're a person the police pull you over like yo do you have your mask you're like no i ain't got a mask in the car and he pulls you out of the car doesn't handcuff you doesn't give me a mask doesn't doesn't arrest you my doctor takes off. his fucking belt off and beats you like a child right then he gives your mask right and then this oh it's police brutality and da 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 it's like he told you where uh, no. they told you to wear a mask dude Americans have too many rights. You know? <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, they used to get me so mad. I saw, that, like I said, when I first started in that lady you tried to bring it to Congress or your local Congress. Like, I have a right to breathe. And da, 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 da. I was like, you have a right to listen to your government. Because when they say you can't drive without a driver's license, you listen. Right. When they told you to put a fucking seatbelt on. That's not necessarily on, true. When they told you to put a seatbelt on, you listened. Or you Where die, you get a ticket. Yeah. Okay, where you're fucking. Or when you die, you get a ticket. Yeah, you die, die or get a ticket. Huh. So now you can wear a mask when you go outside. Hey, when you go outside, you don't have to go outside. I try to always wear. You can my mask. stay in your home. So you saying I'm locked in my? You're forcing me. I'm not. No, no, no. I'm letting you know. If you go outside, yeah. you wear a mask. <laughs> If you want to stay home, stay home. It seems it seems simple, right? Now these Karens out there are fucking twisting like, these stupid. We have rights. You know, you have a right to wear a goddamn mask. That's you know right. I mean? That's right. You want to go out, put it on. Not a problem. It's, it's, cool, it's a cool, cool law. That's <laughs> right. You know. Watch this. You can't vote unless you're 18. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> I'm still a person knowing I'm 17. You're not legal. <laughs> Which is right. right, right. Can't buy cigarettes By the way, unless. Now you can't buy cigarettes until you're 21. 21, right. But you can fight for our country. You can't buy alcohol until you're 21. You know, you don't hear. because there's a lot of drunk drivers at 18. You don't hear people. But again, you, you may not hear certain people complain about it, but they still break the law. Oh, oh for sure. Like right? the gun safety. Like the criminals aren't going to have guns. Did you see that stupid thing? Put a red light. On your, outside your door to let people know that you're, you're gun safety? Oh, no. Like, meaning, like, you're a gun-free house? Like, no, why the fuck would you advertise? <laughs> now, if you live in Florida or Texas, yeah, no, Texas, you can walk around with an assault rifle. No, without, I don't. And, it, and it's not probable cause. <laughs> I don't advertise shit. Like, you don't know what weapons I have in here. What's that thing? Was like, I got a keyblade, When bitch. you buy a new TV, don't put the box next to the road. I knew what? If you buy a new screen TV, like big screen, don't put the box next to the road. Now you just let people know to rob you. We'll see. I'm always home, right? So I don't have that, like, certain issue, issues. I, I gathered all the Dragon Balls. That, right? imagine, imagine that, like a, a scope of the house out. New yeah. TV. Okay, okay, new computer. And they see you come outside and smoke a cigarette. Right. Now, you know what? I then, st- then they see your dog jump out, and you just catch it with one hand, like Bella. And you just put it back in the house. He, you know what? Yeah. Not only is a pit bull, but he caught it with one hand. So we're not. Gonna- <laughs> also, she's not a pit bull. She's oh no, she's tech. not. She's a yeah, but from a distance. Wait, from the distance, it's hard to tell because yeah. she's fucking. You know, the- she's pure muscle. Yeah. Like there's not an ounce of and fat on that dog. Was she was she lunch out the door? You're like no. <laughs> like my wife calls her fat all the time, but she is. Like that dog's pure fucking muscle. I know, oh, no, I know. When she forced cuddles on you, you can feel it. There's nothing about that dog fat, you know. Like she's just fucking. When she's like, "I want to cuddle with you," I'm like, "Bella, not now." No. no. <laughs> she forces herself on you. To me, I honestly think she's too skinny. Like you can't see her ribs or nothing. Like she's a healthy you think dog. They, but you think they all should be round? You, know, well, just... you think they should be rolling around? I'm just... <laughs> just rolling around. Oh man, Thor's not round either. Like I don't. Thor has muscle. They're healthy dogs. They are. You know, they they eat homemade food. They do. You and, know? and your dog gets beat up by your cat. <laughs> you saw it the other day. And the bunny. You saw it the other day. Anyone that went near Sai, she freaking two pieced them. Sai doesn't take any shit from anybody. She didn't. They didn't do nothing. They walked by. She two pieced them. Sai doesn't. Sai doesn't. Then put she up. went to go get high in her cat litter. Or like. Sai doesn't put up with a goddamn thing. She does like, so I does. You saw her. She's mortal combat against that fucking bunny. Oh yeah. That bunny jumped in there. Like, Boom. <laughs> so, yeah. So I doesn't. So I doesn't play. I swear she broke that cat. She fucking grabbed Sai's that been, rabbit by the. Sai's head. been through plenty in her life where she just doesn't. She's so fast. Yeah. She quit. 
That bunny's fast too, though. You gotta... That's the side. No, no. Sai would never be a victim. <laughs> like I keep saying that right never, now. Never again. Yeah, no, that, that that poor cat. Our next news: Britney Spears slams Diane Sawyer for making her cry during a 2003 interview. Diane she, Sawyer. She can kiss my white ass. Ooh. That's what Britney Spears said. Now that she's not ruled by her daddy, she she's out for blood. <laughs> Never understood that you can kiss my white ass. Well, first off, you're like most people. Most white people's asses aren't really white. They just lack color. You know, like I. You see some dark people have some white asses. I'm dead. They're so crazy. Apparently, there's been some tornadoes. Yeah. Um. What is it? Um. Oh, in fuck. Kentucky. Where was it? Yeah. In Arkansas, Illinois. Tore up a <coughs> Amazon warehouse. Got tore the fuck up. The city next to it got tore up. A house got tore up. The only thing left standing was a Christmas tree. Yeah, there was there was a few, and then because of the tornadoes, there was fires. Was there? Yeah, I think one place burnt down. There's that's crazy. Yeah. Our hearts go out to them. There's normally not. We normally don't the get tornadoes. A Mayfield Health and Rehabilitation Center in Kentucky. That sucks. Health and rehabilitation facility. Why can you read but not pronunciate? I can't. I, I can read. It's just um, you know, there's certain words I don't know. My ADHD. Oh, it make you rush your your my, brain's yes. rushing through it. If I'm writing something, I'll skip a word. Yeah. Like if I'm trying to copy it. That's what I do when I spell, right? Like I'll spell, I'll try to spell something, and I'll like leave a word out, or I'll leave something out, like when I'm texting. Yeah. I'll say the word, you know, O or the or so, in something head, simple yeah. in my head. Yeah. And then go back and it's like, fuck, I'm missing half this sentence. Maybe she does that. My mind works faster than my hand writes or something like that. Same thing with the reading. Right. See now I can I can read just fine and, and like normally if the the I don't even really it like like the word have, if you turn the A and the V around. Okay. 